All right, guys, week four, assignment one. This is continuation of volume. So here we have volume is equal to big B times big H, where big B is equal to the area of the base and big H is equal to the height between bases. So here, the bases are gonna be my triangle. So this is a triangular prism. So this is the base here and here is the base here. Now again, height is the distance between the bases. So it's gonna be this distance. So the height is gonna be from here to here, okay? This is gonna be the height. And now, the first thing I wanna do is find out my area of the base. So here I have a triangle. So I know that an area of a triangle is equal to little b times little h all over two. Little b times little h all over two. So here, I don't know what my little b is. I don't know what my little b is. I know that I have an h here. h equals this, so I gotta find b. But what I do know is that this right here, 32.5 is the same distance here. So 32.5, I could use it over here. So now, I don't know if some of you know where I'm going with this, but, sorry about that. It is 30. 2.5 so I have this side and I have this side and I need to find that side and how do we find that we use our friend Pythagoras right so we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared so just like number eight the way you do number seven is just like number eight so here I'm trying to find b just to keep consistency this b I'm gonna make it this b so then H is going to be A. So here I have 28 squared plus B squared. And my C is going to be this guy, C. So then I plug it in, 32.5 squared. Now, we have to do some calculations. So here, 28 squared. 28 times 28 is equal to 784. I'm going to write that down here. 784, if we add over another space, equals to 32.5 squared. So I have 32.5 squared. Times 32.5, which is 1056.25. 1056.25. All right, so now I got to solve for b squared, so minus 784 to both sides, minus 784, and that's a zero. I bring this guy down, b squared is equal to, now what that is going to equal to is minus 74 272.25 see if I can remember that 272.25 so here 272.25 now I have the square on top right there so I have to square root this both sides and that's going to give me my b, my actual b answer. So b is equal to the square root of 272.25. Oh, sorry, I'm glitchy everywhere today. So I just click this square root button and it gives me an answer of 16.5. So 16.5, b is equal to 16.5. And we'll do the units later. So b is 
b equals 16.5 I'm just gonna cloud it b equals 16.5 that's what goes here all right so now we can find the area of the triangle plug it in Let me use a different color here so area equals little b is 16.5 times my height which is 28 all over 2 now I could I'm gonna use a calculator if you do this in your head you're pretty awesome 16.5 times 28 okay let me double check that 16.5 times 28 it's 462 so I got 462. Now I'm doing step by step. That way you guys can see the progression of it. Sometimes students get lost in the step that I skipped and I think it's easy. Divided by 2 is 231. So my area is equal to 231. This is going to be kilometers squared. So again, we're going to mess with this later kilometer squared because it is area now this is my B so now these are the same so my A here is the same as B I don't know what that is it's the same as B so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna erase the A and put B there come on erase up oh. And I plug this number in. And my height, ah, let me write this down first. So my volume, so my volume my volume is equal to the base, which is 231, area of the base, and my height here is gonna be H right here. This is my big H the distance between the bases which is going to be 31 and then that's kilometers now my final answer here is going to be 231 times 31 so 231 times 31 which is 7161 so 7161 my volume here is 71, so 7,161. And it's going to be units cubed, so kilometers cubed with the 3 on top, 3 as an exponent. That is how you find number 7 volume. So. Alright, guys, sorry that problem took a, a little long. But the next two problems should be okay, not too short, pretty simple. And this is volume of cylinders. The volume of cylinders, it's, it's straightforward. I mean, the other problem is how to use Pythagorean theorem to find it, so that's what made it take long. But here, we have the volume equals pi r squared times h. So h is here, and then pi r squared. It's pretty much the same thing as area of the base area of a circle is pi r squared so big b times h it stays the same but we're just gonna write it down now so here r is equal to 18 right my radius my radius is the center of the circle to the edge and then my height is 15 so from here to here it's my height and now i just plug it in now i am going to multiply with pi times r squared which is 18 and then my height oops, squared almost forgot it my height is 15 inches so it's going to be inches cubed now I'm going to just kind of show you step by step I'm going to multiply a pi at the end 
So 18 times 18 is going to give me something. So 18 times 18. equals 324 24 and I still got to multiply 15 by that so I just multiplied 18 times 18 so now 324 times 15 equals 4860 4860 so here volume equals pi times 4860. Now you can leave it in terms of pi but we want to round to the nearest integer here so volume equals now if you don't know where the pi is it is right here so times star times pi and then equals so I'm just gonna write this down 15 to 6 8 14 so 15 to 6 8 15 to 6 8 15 to 6 8 point four so if we were rounding I'll get rid of this because it is less than five but now my units is inches and that is how you do this problem. Easy breezy. Alright. Round number 10, you do the same way. But the only difference is you, they're giving you a diameter. So let's let's do it together. Now volume equals so my radius is going to be r equals 11 over 2. That's because it's half the diameter. So my r is going to equal 5.5. Alright, so that's my r. And then my h. Now I know it's slant, not slanted, it's just laid on its side. So just try to imagine this you know being topped over so like a coke can laying on the side so now let's see if I my radius is 5.5 .5 squared sorry 5.5 .5 times squared so here we go h21 again step by step if you ever need to fast forward or pause or rewind, by all means, that's what the videos are for. Where am I? That's not it. Close that out. Sorry, I'm still drinking my coffee. Alright, 5.5. Put this to the side. 5.5 .5 times 5.5. .5 equals 30.25 so 30.25 so I got my pi here 30.25 times 21 volume equals keep the pi don't need the pi 30.25 times 21 times 21 equals 6 Three five point two five, so it's going to be six three five point two five, and then final answer multiply by pi times pi equals nineteen ninety five point six nine. So I'm going to just round to nineteen ninety six. That was a good year. Most of your parents were born that year. 1996. Ah, just kidding. 1996. Okay, and then meters cubed. So I round it up. I round it up. So 1996 meters cubed. That is my volume.
Okay, so I know this video is getting kind of long, but let's move onward and upward. The last one, it's a word problem. I know it's difficult understanding word problems because of the whole reading. But you just got to break down what you know. So a diagram, right? So a diagram of Eric's pool is shown on the left. So this is Eric's pool. So I'm gonna just write it. Eric, how do you spell Eric? Sometimes it's spelled with a K. Eric's pool is shown right there, right? So this is it. You could imagine you know, Eric is inside here swimming, right? And then there's a you know shark and all that good stuff. He's happy. Eric's pool. He plans to fill his pool to a depth of four feet. So here we have 4.5. So it's almost going to be four, but it's going to be here. So let's just say this is four feet. It's not to scale, so yeah, don't quote me on that. This is four feet. He plans to fill it to a depth of four feet with a garden hose that has an 80 feet cube per hour flow rate. So that means in one hour, 80 feet of volume is entered into that pool so how many hours will it take to fill the pool and we are just finding the volume so volume equals pi r squared times my height now my radius is going to be half of 27 which is 13.5 double check 27 divided by 2 yeah, 13.5. Oh, disappeared. Thirteen, put down. Thirteen point five. Now plug it in, so volume equals pi times thirteen point five squared. Now my height here is four feet. That's where the height comes from, four feet. Now 4.5. So volume equals pi times 13.5 squared. So 13.5 equals 182.25. So again, 13.5 times 13.5. And I could just go here. There's different ways to do that, but I just want to show you that the square means twice multiplied. So here it is 182.25. So 182.25. 182.25 times 4. So volume equals pi times 4, so multiply my height, times 4, 729, so 729, 729 pi, so now here, my volume is equal to, final answer, wait, not final, well, it's going to find out the volume, so 729 divided by, no, times, pi is equal to 2290.22 so 2290.22 now this is my feet cube this is my volume I'm just gonna box it in but what's the question saying how many hours will it take to fill the pool so we want to find out how many hours what we have to do is we got to divide our answer by 80 feet. So my hours, now this is going to go into different units of measures, but we have hours. The easiest way to do it is just divide like this. I didn't really get into it too much. Just dividing the numbers, divided by 80, and this is going to give me my answer in hours feet. So divide this by 80. it's 28.62 hours so it's going to be 28.62 hours 
So if you want to throw a pool party, you have to 20, plan 28 hours in advance if you want to fill it in because that's how long it's going to take to fill up the pool. So 28.62 hours. And that is how you do this assignment. Hopefully you guys got it. And, you know, thank you for your patience. Let me know if you have any questions. All right. Bye-bye.